With more than 6,000 species in North America, you're bound to cross paths with creatures no matter where you live. In fact, even in the dense cities that dot the continent from coast to coast, animal and human habitats are colliding more and more all the time. So conservationists have answered the call to help wild animals survive in the urban jungle. Seattle, Washington is one of the largest cities on the West Coast, and it's a haven for hundreds of birds and mammal species. Today, Peter and I are visiting a local animal rescue organization, the Progressive Animal Welfare Society, also known as PAWS. They're located about 15 miles north of downtown Seattle, where they've been treating injured wildlife for over 40 years. In that time, they've cared for over 140,000 wild animals. The Paws Wildlife Center is an emergency hospital, but also a rehabilitation facility. We care for animals of all kinds, in particular, wild animals. Here, everyday folks, called finders by the Paws staff, can bring an injured or orphaned or sick wild animal. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Hi, doing okay. What do you have? Uh, evidently, I have a hermit thrush. I found a songbird of some sort. Can I take a peek? Yes. Oh, look. We share our urban neighborhoods with raccoons, possums, squirrels, raptors. That's amazing what something like this can entangle an animal. There we there go. We go. Inside the trauma center, it's a flurry of activity where dozens of animals are currently in the center's care. This is a very impressive one, this whole wall. <laughs> Medication yes. and diet. This is our triage center. When an animal comes in and has an injured wing or is sick, it comes into our hospital, it gets an initial physical examination by one of our rehabilitators just going to be checking for any signs of upper respiratory infection, kind of some of the similar symptoms right. to humans. They find out what's wrong and how they're going to help it. If it needs to have a surgery, then it goes into veterinary care where our veterinary team takes care of it. If it's just a baby who is orphaned for some reason, then it goes into a different part of the hospital where it grows up and it gets the nutrition that it needs. We have six bobcats in care right now, kittens, uh, which is, I think, a record for us, maybe. <laughs> kittens who are healthy and happy, and they're all together, and they'll be with us through the winter. And then we have a whole outdoor area where we have bigger enclosures where these animals learn how to fly. They get to practice climbing and foraging and doing all the things that they need to do to be successful in the wild. And then from there, they're evaluated for release, and when they're ready to go, they get to go back home. I'm just checking for body condition, looking at the pectoral mass. Now we're just going to get a quick weight on him to better. This looks like a lunch bag, but it's actually <laughs> a medical tool. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Who do we have in there? We admitted an adult barred owl today who came from down south. He is quite thin, has not been eating for some time, and is incredibly dehydrated. Look at his feathers look like they're in perfect shape. He's got a very severe damage to one of his eyes that's infected. That looks pretty bad. Mm -hmm. It's pretty bad. And so right now, as we speak, he's getting fluids, um, he's getting vitamins, he's receiving pain medication and antibiotics. And so we're hoping that he's feeling a little bit better tomorrow. We can do a more thorough assessment and find out what his prognosis is for recovery. The thing that this bird has going for it is that barred owls tend to be quite hearty. Things that would take down another bird that they may not recover from, we have better success with them. My hope is that you know within a few days, we'll be able to do some more thorough testing and some treatment with him and then really find out what's going on. But at the end of the day, if this bird makes it, he has weeks to months ahead of him before he would be ready to go home. Well, I've seen a fair number of animals be treated, and I've never seen such an organized staff. You are we such a, a team. And that's a big win for the urban animals of Seattle and for its citizens. Because protecting our planet's wildlife is the key to having ecosystems that function.